Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited because today's video is going to be slightly different than my usual just kind of doing makeup on myself. I'm actually going to be doing makeup on a model. This is Veronica. I just got back from Saint Tropez, which is why I look like this. I literally haven't like shaved, gotten a haircut, but I am really trying to stay committed to you guys and upload one video a week, which is why I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna like do a video, but let's do it on a model. And I'm really glad that she was available. We went on Twitter and asked you guys what look you guys wanted to see. It was between like a really um, sexy, like cranberry smoky eye with a nude lip or a kind of more simple lip with like a bolder cranberry, a simpler lip, simple lip. <laughs> a simpler <laughs> eye. I'm still jet lagged guys, sorry. Uh, a simple eye and like a vampy cranberry lip and you guys decided that you guys wanted to do a cranberry smoky which was inspired by Patrick Ta. Shout out to Patrick, he's so amazing. If you're not already, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you guys leave a comment, let me know what you guys think of this type of video. Before I really dived into my career that I have now, I was a professional makeup artist, uh, worked with tons of celebrities, so artistry is a big passion of mine, so I'm really excited that I kind of get to do this type of video with you guys and kind of break down makeup in a different way and in a way that kind of would make more sense to someone that um, is trying to be a professional makeup artist, but at the same time, it's gonna be super informative for you guys at home that want to know how to be just as slave. All right, guys, so we are starting with a clean face. Uh, she has absolutely nothing on her skin. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this Morphe Prep and Set Spray. This is my first time actually using this spray, which I'm really, really excited about because I've heard lots of good stuff about it on the internet. And I'm just gonna kind of use this as an agent to just kind of start the hydration process on her skin just a little bit. To hydrate her skin, I'm gonna use this Skin Medica Rejuvenating Hydrator. I really like this product because it kind of reminds me of like a serum and a moisturizer in one. It's super lightweight and it's gonna completely hydrate her skin. Almost similar to like a gel-like moisturizer. It's a little lighter weight on the skin and I'm applying this with a dual fiber brush just to really make sure that it is pushing the product into her skin. For her under eyes, I'm gonna use this Pure Cosmetics Identity Eye Cream. I really love this because it just really hydrates the under eye area and helps with concealer not creasing. And I'm gonna apply this with my finger just to gently massage it underneath the eye area. Next, I'm gonna apply this new Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is in the shade Radiance, which I'm really excited about because it has hyaluronic acid, which is a really great agent to hydrate the skin. It also has some nice pearls and more of a bronzy finish to really give that golden hour sun-kissed look to the skin. I'm gonna apply this with my Beauty Blender just to make sure that I apply a nice even layer and it's nice and subtle on the skin. Lastly, before I, I get started on the actual makeup piece, I'm gonna spray a little bit of Max Fix Plus just to really hydrate her skin. For this makeup look, I want her eyes to really be the key focus of this makeup, so I don't wanna take away from it too much, which is why on the brows, I'm gonna go a little bit lighter, just kinda lightly groom the brow and add very, very minimal product. I'm gonna go in with this MAC Cosmetics Big Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Fling. And I'm just gonna use this product to lightly start to add a little bit of body to her brows. Again, I'm not trying to create too much definition. I just wanna create a little fullness and body. As her eyeshadow primer, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this MAC Studio Finish Concealer, and I'm just going to apply this all over her eyelid and blend it out with my finger. I really like the consistency of this concealer and I like the way that it sets. Now that I've blended out that concealer, I'm just gonna take a little bit of translucent powder and lightly just set over that concealer. This will just really help to set that so that it doesn't move and to keep all of the oils under control. I'm gonna start off with a warmer shade. This is from the Joy Cosmetics Springtime in Paris palette, and it's just a nice soft brown. I'm going in with my Sephora crease brush to start to define her crease. So since I want the shadow to kind of take more of a cat eye shape, I'm gonna also make sure that I'm blending and pulling that shadow out. And I often switch from the brush that I'm using to a super clean brush just to really perfect the blend. Now that we have the base color to our crease, I'm gonna go in with this Melt Cosmetics eyeshadow. This is in the shade Lovesick. 
and I'm gonna take that same Sephora blending brush. I'm gonna start to apply this all over her lids and slightly start blending it into her crease. I really love the Mount Cosmetics eyeshadows because they blend so beautifully, but at the same time, you can kind of keep layering and adding color to really, really kick up the saturation. So the key with this is to literally blend, 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 blend. Literally add a little color, add a little depth, but make sure it's always blended. So for her eyelid, I'm gonna go in with this Tarte Cosmetics Metallic Eyeshadow in the shade Scarlet. And I'm just taking this color on a flat brush and I'm just gonna pat it all over her lid. Now to really kick up the Cranberry Vibes, I'm gonna apply this Loose Pigment from Sugar Pill in the shade Asylum. With these, you wanna be a little bit careful because they are a loose pigment. So sometimes I just work off of whatever is on the cap. And same thing like the last shade, just applying it all over her lid. I find that mixing these two shades gives me like the perfect intense cranberry that I'm looking for. So now that I feel really good about the eyes, I'm gonna have her look up and I'm gonna take a Neutrogena makeup wipe to just clean up all of the fallout. When I do colors like this or anything smoky, I always make sure to do the eyes first. Just makes cleaning it up so much easier. For her foundation, I'm going to use my favorite, of course, our CMA cream foundation in the shade Shinto 2 with a beauty blender and just stippling it all over her skin. Since I really want her to look nice and fresh, and again, I want all of the focus to be the eyes, I'm not going to contour too heavy, but I do want to make sure that her skin is absolutely flawless. To help blend the foundation onto her neck, I'm just going to use a big powder brush and I'm just going to use this to kind of blend that out to her neck. Now I'm gonna go in with one of my favorites, the NYX Concealer in the shade Sand Beige. And I'm just gonna use this underneath her eye area to really highlight her face. I'm gonna use a beauty blender just to stipple all of this and blend it out. And as you guys can see, it immediately brightens up her skin. Once I've blended out this concealer, I'm just gonna set it with my RCMA No Color Powder. And I'm just lightly pressing this underneath her eye area with my Morphe brush. Now that her under eyes are set, I'm going to go in and frame her eyes with this new Wonder Beauty Gel Eyeliner Pencil. This is a slide liner and this is in the shade Black Sand. And I'm taking that pencil on her waterline and slightly below to really intensify the eyes. Going to blend it out with a smudge brush. And for a little intensity, you're gonna add lipstick eyeshadow on top of that. And her eyes look absolutely stunning. Now I'm gonna go in with a bigger brush and set the rest of her face. And I'm just taking some of that translucent powder and just lightly kind of patting it wherever her face isn't set yet. It's so funny, all of my followers on Snapchat were saying you look like a young Cameron Diaz. Oh yeah? Yes, I think I have to agree. <laughs> I have to agree, I have to agree. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of this Morphe Prep and Set and just kind of spray that all over her skin since I just applied a little bit of powder. I don't want her skin to have like a dry texture. I still want it to be nice and moisturized and hydrated. And we're gonna move on to bronzer. I'm gonna go in with this MAC Cosmetics Dark Golden Mineralized Skin Finish with a big fluffy brush. And I'm lightly going to start to bronze the temples of her forehead. Again, I don't want to go too harsh on the contour. I just want to give her a nice glow and add a little warmth to her skin. Gonna contour her cheeks with the same color but using this NARS brush. Just lightly contouring the hollows of her cheek. Again, nothing too dramatic. And I'm just moving this brush in a circular buffing motion to really blend out that color. So for her cheeks, I'm gonna use this Matte Cosmetics Mineralized Skin Finish. This is in a limited edition shade called The Truth. And I'm gonna apply it with that same NARS brush. I'm just gonna have her smile and I'm lightly just gonna tap it on the apples of her cheeks. This is a really beautiful, subtle pink, glowy shade. I'm not sure if this was a limited edition shade or not, but if it wasn't, you guys need to get your hands on this. It's so gorgeous. Look at that beautiful sheen. It's just so beautiful. For her lips, I'm going to go in with this lip liner in the shade Curvy. This is from the collaboration with I Love Sarai and ColourPop. I'm just going to use this to lightly just kind of 
frame her lips. I love ColourPop pencils because they're so smooth and soft and glide on like butter. And on her lip, I'm gonna apply this ultra glossy lip, also in the shade Curvy from the same collection. For her glow, I'm gonna apply, of course, my Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder, and this is in the shade Illuminati. I'm gonna spray a little Fix Plus on her skin first. Just press that onto her cheek. Whew, so stunning. Gonna add a little slightly above the brow. Just a little bit. Just give her a nice little forehead sheen. I live for the forehead sheen, I don't know why. <laughs> it's just like my jam. I literally apply so much on my own forehead, it's not even funny. And lightly gonna press on this cheek. And of course, a little forehead sheen. Gotta show that forehead a little love. <laughs> A little bit on the little chin, chin, chin. A little bit on the tip of that nose. For her eyes, I'm gonna use these House of Lashes Boudoir Light Lashes. I want something with a little bit of drama, but still kind of natural. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I applied her lashes off camera. As you can see, it just adds a little bit of drama, but nothing too crazy. And I also went ahead and added some mascara. Can't forget the bottom lashes. This is MAC Extended Play Mascara. And the last thing that I'm gonna do is spray this Wander Beauty Glow Getter Mist. And that is the completed look. I'm so happy with how this look turned out. She looks absolutely stunning. Fresh, glowing skin, subtle bronze, and the focus is all on the eyes. Beautiful, smoky, cranberry eyes. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.